Dear siblings in Christ of our Northwestern Minnesota Synod of our Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to speak with you for a bit about the coronavirus and its implications for our daily lives as followers of Jesus Christ and our life together in communities of faith across our Synod. First, it is essential for us to remain attentive to the good information coming out of our Centers for Disease Control and other public health sources who consistently remind us that the risk to the American public remains relatively low and that the vast majority of people who contract this disease have very mild symptoms. That said, we know that anxiety and fear remain high around the transmission and spread of this disease. Fear is a powerful motivator. I believe, though, that love is an even more powerful one. And that is exactly what we are called to as followers of Jesus Christ, We're called to love and serve our neighbor. If you think about the guidelines from Centers for Disease Control, washing our hands, refraining from going out in public if we're coughing or sneezing or feeling sick, these actions are designed to protect our neighbor from ourselves, from the possible transmission of disease. In our vocational life right now, it's essential that we remain committed to loving our neighbor and serving our neighbor through our vocational life. Martin Luther reminds us of this in his treatise on whether it is just for Christians to flee a plague. He reminds us how important it is for us to serve our neighbor through our work, whether we are healthcare providers, first responders, law enforcement, educators, all the ways we serve the common good. Now more than ever, our work is needed on behalf of our neighbor. In our life together as communities of faith, there's absolutely no reason why we would refrain from gathering every Sunday and Wednesday and other times throughout the week around word and sacrament. Now more than ever, we need to be together around this promise. We need to need to remind each other of the hope we have in Jesus Christ, to pray for each other, to be there for each other, to experience the powerful peace and presence of Christ that we have every time we gather around word and sacrament. Of course, if you're feeling sick, if you're sneezing or coughing or running a fever, it's best if you stay home until you feel well again. In our worship life together, there are some practices that we might modify at a time like this. In the passing of the peace, we might consider the elbow bump or the fist bump or the hand wave uh, in passing the peace. In the practice of Holy Communion, perhaps the use of the individual cups or the pouring chalice would be a more prudent practice than the common cup or intinction. More, most importantly, in this particular time, it's essential that we remember that as followers of Jesus Christ, we know that the promises we have from Jesus are not that we will be without difficulty, free of disease, but that we will have the powerful peace and presence of Christ in the midst of difficulty, in the midst of disease and times of anxiety like these. I'm reminded of one of my favorite verses of scripture from Isaiah 41, in which the prophet Isaiah, speaking for God, declares, Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will help you and strengthen you. I will uphold you with my powerful right hand. Thanks be to God through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is our help and our strength. God's peace be with you.